We die. What's up? Hi, friends. How are you guys? I'm all right. Hey, we all right. Hey, we die. We die. Like I said, um, listen, I already know where you stand on stuff. I'm not going to be speaking to anything that you say. It's gonna be the chat and um and we die. Like you always keep it real. So keep it real, okay? You you know we have we always have good engagement in here. It's a lot of people in here right now. Do not be scared. Keep it all the way real, okay? Uh, I'm I'm not ever scared, honestly. I've gotten attacked on here before. Um, by the way, hi to you guys. You guys are a beautiful couple, by the way, because I kept commenting that and other people were commenting it too. So I don't know if you guys saw that. Really quick, we died. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing a live podcast right now. We have BTTS podcast in here. Um, you know, some of y'all are regulars here, some of y'all, you know, just seeing and meeting both of us for the first time. Um I am 25 years old. I am I am unmarried. I am single. I am childless. You know, on my platform, we have a lot of, you know, we have respectful, constructive conversations on my platform. Um, we talk a lot about relationships. We talk a lot about men and women dynamics. Um, I met my brother in here, like, you know, a few days back, and I, I liked what he was saying. And he is actually a married man, uh, married for 12 plus years. Um has children, um, accomplished, successful black man. So I, I, I would love to hear, you know, a lot of us that be having these conversations, we're like me. So I would love to hear from them. So that's why I have them here. That's why we're doing this here tonight. But go ahead, we die. Wait, really quickly. She's an accomplished and successful black woman too, okay? Yeah, I wasn't disregarding her. I wasn't disregarding her. <laughs> Add her too. Oh, we not, we not. I told him tonight, I said, brother, I said, I would love if you can bring your woman on here as well. So. Yeah, white. one was disregarding Not her. her. Go ahead, though. Um, okay, so I, I'm, I have, like, a little bit of a controversial take on this. Um, honestly, I don't think that I could be with someone who was financially unstable. I wouldn't consider them uh, as a partner. I wouldn't even, like, maybe I could speak to them, hang out with them for it. But this whole concept of like, oh, like, I want companionship, I want this, I want that. I don't really believe that because at the end of the day, the majority of relationships, like the majority of marriages end in divorce because of finance. Mm. And so it gives me like, it, I don't know, like someone's lying. I don't know who, right? I, obviously, I can't speak to um, women who've experienced a lot more than me and are a lot more settled in their lives and have themselves like um squared away because i've noticed like a lot of um women in their late 30s 40s around there they're just like i just want to chill i just want my peace i don't care at all costs but personally i don't think i could take a man who is broke seriously and we die but we die before the guests speak to what you just said um please tell them like you know where you're from and you know how stuff works in your culture because I, that context is very much needed. It would be very beneficial for not only the guests, but the people in the audience to understand as well. Um, so I am Muslim. Uh, my dad is Arab. My mom is African. Um, yeah, so in our culture, we tend to put finances as a high priority in a relationship. So if a, like when you decide, hey, like I like this person, right? I would like to pursue a deeper relationship with the marriage, um, they would come and meet your family. And if that guy is, and, and your family would obviously ask, like, how much do you make a year? How much do you have in savings? What do you do for work? Where do you see yourself in five to 10 years, 15 years, right? And so if he can't answer that, then there's no marriage. Mm -hmm. So you say you couldn't date someone who was, Financially unstable. <laughs> right. I, I, I just want to clarify for that. I, I'm going to ask this question. If he made $42,000, right, and he lived within his means, had his savings in order, had his finances in order, would that still be considered to, to you as financially unstable or would that be acceptable? I'm, I'm trying to understand. Okay. So um, for some background, uh, I make a lot more than that so I couldn't be with someone who's only making like 42k right because I'm like 26 I make a lot more than that. I'm not gonna say how much but it's a lot more than that and the last time I was making that amount was just like me in college 
working a part-time job. So I don't, I wouldn't take a guy who's like my age or older who's making that amount of money seriously because I'm convinced that they can potentially make more. So even if they were happy, they were everything that you needed outside of the finances, that would still just be a hard no for you. Yeah, it's a hard no because like Noble said, um, once you reach a certain age, you have to ask yourself, like, what have you been doing um, beyond that, right? Like, at a certain point, you have to be like, hey, like, maybe my dream isn't working out. Maybe my SoundCloud rapper career isn't on and popping. I'm not going to, you know, succeed in that. Maybe it's time to, you know, go to the men's warehouse and purchase a suit and call it a day. But <laughs> it says a lot about an individual if they feel like, if in particular, I, I would say this for both individuals, right? Because at the end of the day, like, you should take yourself seriously and you should want more for yourself. And unfortunately, because of the society we live in, more means money and working hard and building a career and establishing yourself. So if he was like making 42K and he's like older than me, right? Or within my age group, I'm going to look at him and be like, what exactly are you doing? Is that going to change soon? Because it's like, how are you making that much? <laughs> like, how? I don't get it. Since, 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 since you graduated high school, like eight, seven, eight years ago. Exactly. Like, so, it doesn't I'm make sorry, sense. How, how old you said you were? I'm 26. She's 26. Where are we at 26? I'm just trying to think of where we were at 26. I, 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 I ask because I, I think of our relationship and it, I get what you're saying to an extent. If I'm way up here, why would I come down here? I get it to an extent, but then in that same regard, I think about him and he made the six figures and he was miserable. It was, he was, he was miserable. And so I, I didn't want that for him. I didn't want him to be miserable. And he had this idea that was an awesome idea. And we built that together and now we have surpassed that. And so I just, I don't want to say. But I feel like that's different. Why? I feel like that's different though, because he started, like, like you said, he went to college, right? Like you guys met in college. He was making that money, showing that he could make that money if, if need be, right? He's proven that he's capable of making that income. And you guys as a couple decided to step away from that. Probably, most likely, you guys look smart, right? You guys are smart. And so you guys sat down and we're like, listen, I get it. It's your dream. We may be struggling for a little bit, but it's going to pay off, right? That's completely different than a man who is 26, 27, 25, 28, 30 even, right? Who has never made those six figures, who has never been in a career path that has made him able to make those six figures. Like, that's completely different because he's capable of making that money. And so you had trust in him. Yes, I did. 100% trust him. So I, 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 go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Now, I was about to say, I, we may slightly disagree on this. I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's a problem with you wanting a man that makes that. But I, I think, don't think it's a problem. I, I think, I think what happens though in our culture, the the American culture, the black culture, is if even if you're making the six figures yourself as a woman, and you're requiring a man to at least meet you where you are or be above, the, I think what ends up happening is okay, if you're requiring me to be making this much money before we step into this this long relationship, um, whenever you meet me when we're dating, whatever. Uh, if you want to get married, are you going to be the type of wife that I need? Because, I mean, if, if you have this standard for me, then what is the standard for the, for the guy? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that you're not that type of wife, but I think that's where things start getting crossed up because, like, you have women, as Noble said earlier, that are making, like, $42,000 requiring a dude to make, like, a hundred k, And it's like, so right. what exactly... What have you learned to be uh, a great mate for me? Because you want me to make this and you also want me to be emotionally intelligent and you want me to have all these other uh, characteristics that will make for a great relationship. But can you be those things for me as well? And I feel like it's a lot, a lot of people out there that will say that I require this, but cannot 
get with the criteria of that particular man that they're requiring. So I, so what, what is your take on that? So uh, I know something was said earlier and I disagreed with that um, from the previous uh, guest. And she said that money, money don't look for women who make less than them or something around that. Like a certain look for young women that they can take advantage of, right? For the most part, right? A huge demographic and that money starts getting scary. They want younger women, right? They don't care about your education. They don't care about how much money you make. They want you. Like they love bimbos. They really do love bimbos. And people have said like, no, they don't. But if you look at all of these men. We died. Them, so many we died. You going and you in and out. Wait, can you guys hear me? Yeah, mute and then uh, I'm going in and out. Okay, wait, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so men with money tend to not want smart women. Like, I know people are going to hate hearing that. They don't want the girl who is focused on her own bag and her own dreams and her own aspirations. They want the woman who's going to be at home pretty, um, have his kids that look semi decent. He's gonna buy her a nice set of tatas, and she's not going anywhere, right? Because it's about the power dynamic, and this is true. Like this is an actually true thing, right? Like they want younger women who are inexperienced, and unfortunately, if you're looking for that kind of man, you're not gonna find him unless you are like you know a little, a little young and a little gone, right? That's what they're looking for. And I'm talking wealth, wealth, right? They're not looking for a woman to manage his money because he has a financial advisor. He's not looking for someone to even manage his home, right? Because he has housekeepers. He's not looking for any of that. He's looking for a trophy wife. Um, a six-figure man, I wouldn't consider that a wealthy man personally because... Yeah, that's not a wealthy man because I make that much, right? Like, I wouldn't consider that a wealthy man. But I don't think that a man should be looking at a woman's finances, in my opinion. I think that for me, if I were to find a man who made enough money and was capable of showing that he can take care of me and our future family, um, I would obviously be, like, I would be more perceptive to what he wants and his wants and needs, Right. Whereas if, if this man was making 40 something thousand, I'm going to say like, leave me alone. Like, I really don't expect me to do wifey shit for you when you're just out here making like 40K. Really, like the issue is we teach young women Thank to you be will. wives, right? To every single man they date. To every single man they date. And that's how you get burnout. That's how you start lowering your standards and not knowing what you want. Hey, like wait. focus on your self improvement. Hey, for those of y'all, listen. This is this is this is my friend. We died. This is my real homie. This is how she, guys. She's not putting on a show right now. Okay, she's not trolling. Like everything she's saying right now, she believes in it, and she's being very real about it. So that that's that's why her and I get along because I keep it all the way real, and she keep it all the way real. She don't care how people feel about it. But I want the guest to respond to what she said just one more time. Then we die. Get you off. I'm only getting one more person on. Okay. Okay. I love you. Let me say that. I agree with what you're saying, right? Um, I think, so when we talk about, you're talking about 1% man, I think that this is where the relationship conversation starts to have issues because the majority of the people in this world are not wealthy. They are average people. And so we mm -hmm. have to group our finances together you have to be willing the in in a lot of cases not all but in nowadays just to pay rent you need to make six figures and so if the average person is only making forty two thousand dollars then you have to pull your resources i agree women are being wives to men who do they don't deserve wife you're dating mm -hmm. this is not your husband and as as times have changed and women have had to go into the workforce, 
that wife role has had to be adjusted some because I just went and I worked a nine to five. And so I can't come home and clean our house from top to bottom and be solely responsible for the meals and the children and all of those things. It has to become a joint effort. But when you talk about the higher value man who has the housekeepers in you know, the, the chauffeurs and the, and the cooks and all of those things, then the wife can be focused solely on his needs. But when we talk about average people, that's not the reality that we live in. That's not even the reality that we live in. It's a shared responsibility in our household. As a wife, I do cater to, to his needs because I'm, I'm allowed to because I don't have to go and work 40, 50, 60 hours a week, I'm able to come home and cater to him on those days that I'm off because when I go to work, I don't. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but I, I, think, I think that's the conversation that we have to kind of differentiate a little bit is that most of us live in an average world. Most of us don't live in that, you know, seven, eight figure world. That's just not the world that we wa we're walking in. And so those roles have to change a little bit and those expectations. Yeah, I agree. Um, I've noticed, I'm not saying, by the way, to the comments, I don't want a wealthy man. I want a future wealthy man. I want a man who makes as much as me, and I don't consider that wealthy. A little bit more than me, able to meet me there and able to take care of me, and then I can build with you, right? I don't, I'm, I'm not at a position in my life where I'm willing to, like, help build someone up. That has to come from them entirely. And if you haven't built yourself up to whatever that means to you individually, right? Like, I'm not saying you have to go out and date men who make, like, six figures, right? No, you don't. But what building some, like, I feel like we teach young Black women to build men up. And this is not build a bear, right? Like, you don't not have to sit there and wait for this man to go and achieve his dreams. Because at the end of the day, I'm in full belief that every single person should be pushing themselves and striving. And then once you're doing that, that's when you meet the right person. Maybe that right person may not have the money at that moment, but if they're capable of making it, then that is so much more fruitful than you like lugging someone around and getting angry later on, right? Hey, we done. Like, uh, listen, no, listen. And to the men in here, like, you know, I'm 25, we died 20. We just say, like, we die like you like we've talked about this like no no man that's our age that's making 40k has he's he's not been self-improving sorry I'm just yeah he, it, it doesn't make sense I, because i feel I, like I, it's I, so I, much easier oh, yeah, nowadays been self -improving. i'm sorry i'm sorry i i talk, i i make more than the uh the, than the median household income last like i listen i'm sorry i can't you cannot tell me not tell me that you're 25 26 years old and you accomplished and successful but sorry nope Nope, nope, nope. And I don't think no woman, I don't think no woman should subject herself to a man like that. Sorry. Sorry. We died. Listen, yeah, like, I love you. I love you. Wait, I wait, really you quickly. Okay, say wait, one Noble, line. hang on one second. Noble, hang on one second. Um, I know some of the comments are saying that that is classist, but I'm not talking to how we can improve our greater community and what we can, like, we're functioning and living and existing under capitalism. I'm not even a capitalist, but heck, if I'm going to live under it, I'm not starving. Like, I'm really not starving. One thing about me is I'm going to get my Starbucks by any means necessary. Period. Right? Period. And when, when we say it's classist, like, it's not classist. I'm speaking to the people who constantly say, like, oh, like, these women, their standards are, ah, uh, and then it's, like, everyone, focus on yourself. Screw your gender. Just focus on yourself. Focus on your mental health. Focus on what you can do to be better, what you can do for yourself and your community, ultimately, to be better. Um. If I'm not going to date a broke man, I don't consider that classist. And if that's classist, then heck, I'm the biggest classist there is. Period. Hey, we died. we died. We died. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate you. We'll talk. Bye, guys. All right. Guys, I'm bringing one more Bye. person. Okay. We